In terms of volume, the deal to acquire wide receiver Tyreek Hill from the Kansas City ranks is the biggest trade the Miami Dolphins have ever made for one player. The Dolphins sent five draft picks, in the first, second and fourth rounds in 2022, and in the fourth and sixth rounds in 2023, to get the six-time Pro Bowl selection. It was the 11th time in franchise history the team had dealt multiple draft picks to acquire a player in a trade, and precedents suggest the Dolphins will get good production from Hill while he's in a Miami uniform. Here's a quick recap. 1966, Dolphins acquire running back Cookie Gilchrist from Denver for third and fifth round picks. Gilchrist was a very good veteran running back when he joined the expansion Dolphins in November of their inaugural season, but in a weird twist they turned around and traded him back to the Broncos in June 1967 as part of a seven-player deal. 1978, Dolphins acquire running back Delvin Williams from San Francisco for first and fifth round picks, along with wide receiver Freddie Solomon and cornerback Vern Roberson. Williams made an immediate impact for the Dolphins, setting a franchise record with 1,258 rushing yards in 1978, though injuries slowed him after and he never was able to duplicate that success. The 1,000-yard season remained as the only one for a Miami running back until 1996 when Kareem Abdul-Jabbar reached the milestone as a rookie. 1981. Dolphins acquire LB Bob Brudzinski, along with a second-round pick, from the Los Angeles Rams for two second-round picks and a third-round pick. While he never made the Pro Bowl for the defense, Brudzinski started for seven years and was an instrumental part of the Killer Bees defense that helped the Dolphins reach the Super Bowl in the 1982 and 1984 seasons. 1985. Dolphins acquire linebacker Hugh Green from Tampa Bay for first and second round picks. After being one of the greatest college defensive players ever and a one-time Pro Bowl selection for the Bucks, Green never really was dominant for the Dolphins as he was slowed by injuries upon his arrival. He started every game from 1989 to 1991, but never made the Pro Bowl with Miami. 1990. Dolphins acquire cornerback Tim McHire from San Francisco for second and 11th round picks. McHire was very, very good in his first season with the Dolphins, and arguably should have made the Pro Bowl while helping Miami finish with a 12-4 record, but coach Don Shula wasn't a fan of his brash personality and McHire was traded the next offseason for third and 12th round picks. 1993. The Dolphins acquire wide receiver Irving Fryer from New England for second and third round picks. After a rare intra-division trade, Fryer delivered for the Dolphins, producing 1,000-yard seasons and making the Pro Bowl in each of his first two seasons. After another good year in 1995, the Dolphins allowed him to leave via free agency in 1996. 1995, Dolphins acquired defensive Trace Armstrong from Chicago for second and third round picks. Armstrong played six seasons for Miami, reached double digits in sacks three times and was selected to the Pro Bowl in his final season with the Dolphins in 2000. 2002, Dolphins acquire running back Ricky Williams, along with a fourth-round pick, from New Orleans for two first-round picks and a fourth-round pick. This one is a bit complicated because Williams had arguably the second-best individual season in Dolphins history in 2002, behind only Dan Marino's 1984 effort, had a 1,300-yard performance in 2003, but then started having the suspension issues. 2010, Dolphins acquire wide receiver Brandon Marshall from Denver for two second-round picks. Marshall was an immensely talented NFL receiver but also difficult to deal with, which explains why someone of his caliber ended up playing for six teams in 13 seasons. Marshall reached 1,000 yards in each of his two seasons with Miami and was selected to the Pro Bowl in 2011, but the team still shipped him out after two years for the price of two third-round picks. 2019. Dolphins acquire quarterback Josh Rosen from Arizona for second and fifth round picks yeah, we probably don't need to dwell on this one other than to say the Dolphins took a shot on a quarterback who had been the 10th overall pick just the year before and it didn't pan out. The excuses are over for Tua Tungavailoa and the Miami Dolphins. In his first season, we blamed the lack of offensive weapons and the in-game benchings in favor of Ryan Fitzpatrick. In year two, it was mysterious injury reports and weekly Deshaun Watson rumors that derailed what could have been a promising campaign. Whatever the problem was, we can all agree that life hasn't been easy for Tua. His progress and development were undoubtedly stunted by former head coach Brian Flores, who never fully embraced Tunga Vailoa as the franchise quarterback. But there is a new regime in town, and Mike McDaniel has brought some toys along with him. In what has been the most exciting off-season in recent memory, the Miami Dolphins have added some serious firepower around the now third-year quarterback. Not only will he get to build on his chemistry with Jalen Waddell, 
but six-time Pro Bowl wideout Tyreek Hill now joins the mix, creating possibly the fastest receiver duo of all time. The offensive line that was historically terrible last year has been given a serious facelift, and the running back acquisitions make the Dolphins' offense a true dual threat. Throw in guys like Mike Jasicki, Devontae Parker, and Cedric Wilson, and you could see opposing defenses scrambling for their lives in 2022. Tua Tungavailoa has the keys to a high-powered Miami Dolphins offense. But what if he fails? Don't worry, there's a backup plan. It is time to put up or shut up for Tungavailoa. Tua has now been given every opportunity to succeed. Those of us who believe in him know what he is capable of, as we have seen glimpses of what he can do with an open offense and more than a second and a half to throw the ball. Now, both of those things will be readily available, and it is his time to shine. But what if he doesn't? What if, knock on wood, Cowherd and Sims and company are right? What if Tua Tungavailoa is not the franchise quarterback of the Miami Dolphins? Don't worry, the front office might have a trick up their sleeve. Much has been made about the Laramie Tunsil trade, and rightfully so. You know the story by now. Draft prospect rips Bong, he drops to the Dolphins, who eventually trade him for a trove of draft picks that Miami front office keeps flipping for assets. It's a beautiful tale, really. There are graphics popping up left and right that show the official haul, and they should bring a smile to fans of Miami Dolphins fans everywhere. But on top of all of those pretty, shiny new toys is perhaps the most important piece of it all a 2023 first-round pick from the San Francisco 49ers. Why so important, you ask? It is the Tua Tungavailoa backup plan. The Dolphins were able to acquire Tyreek Hill by giving up just one late first-round pick, leaving them selection less for the first 100-plus picks of the upcoming draft. The trade-off is that they will now have two first-round picks in 2023, San Francisco's and their own. There is even a cherry on top. The draft class of 2023 promises to be rich with quarterback prospects, with some outlets having early mocks that feature quarterback taken with the first three picks. Miami has the assets to be able to dangle multiple first-round picks in order to move up the draft board, an offer that a team with an established signal caller may not be able to pass up. They could also go after a veteran. We will have to wait and see which quarterbacks become available after the coming season, but if player movement is as abundant then as it has been lately, then there could be some solid options on the market. But things could work out for Tua Tungavailoa and the Miami Dolphins. They could meet expectations and become one of the most explosive offenses in the league, and the team can use those two 2023 first-rounders to bolster the defense or offensive line. If it doesn't work out, we have a plan.